Think about it. It's only possible to be driven crazy by something if you care about it. Because everything else, you just tune out. Like SpongeBob. SpongeBob drives me crazy. I don't really care about SpongeBob. I just tune him out. And when it comes to knowledge, the things that drive you crazy are actually beneficial. It means that you really want to figure it out. J.D. Salinger said an artist's only concern is shoot for some kind of perfection and on his own terms, not anyone else's. Scrutiny is madness. Notch out the iron and stick him to the magnets. Wanna be badass, but ambition has a way to skew it into sadness. If there's anything I learned in 2020, it's that the tool comes second to the user's vocabulary. Heavy is the head whose interests vary. Just like mine, well, sure I can rhyme. I got 16 detectors, all of them mine. I give them a swing and find a few rings and everything sublime until I realize that I'm robbing myself from mastery with time. There's no substitute for repetition, learning through the daily grind. Let me be real, I suffer from pride. A Scorpio thing, gotta win by a landslide. But at the same time, I rationalize my internal clock takes carbon monoxide. Difficult to enjoy the ride when you fixate on the ultimate prize It's true that the force has a dark side and every human is Jekyll and Hyde Darwinian sense, we have to survive, but we're better than that We have to arrive, I struggle with that, I'm never on time, so I override Binary code sees black and white, shine a flash of light on my kryptonite You better believe that is my prize I need to relax, low Fahrenheit, curb my appetite Turn the engines off, have momentum to just hang light Enjoy the ride, let the paint dry, I suppose I'll learn that stuff in time God, that rap was so emo. This is fun club. Let's have fun. We're going digging today. New place. They locked us out of the new place. We need to find a park that is producing silver, but I'm not gonna sweat it. We're, we're going looking, we're having fun. Cause I don't wanna be that madman. I wanna be that happy guy. Let's go detecting. Well, that was a nice little emo vacation, but now it's over. Now it's time to get back to work, stop feeling sorry about the, uh, someone didn't fill their holes. That was not me. Jeez. Oh, Lord. Err. Stop feeling sorry about a silver slump. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. And, uh, yeah. Go have fun. That's the most important thing. This is my outlet. Woosa, Meryl. Woosa. Go. Yeah, I'm a piece of work. Um, those cat gods, which I know are not real. I, I, I'm trying to fill the box, okay? And, uh, you know, you run out of places by you, at least. And, uh, you know, there's always a hurdle. We've been looking for new places, and uh, we have just been pulling what we can out of the ones that are still producing. I wield the hand of God. Let's go. Speaking of the hand of God, which is my digging tool, by the way, of course it needs a name like that. Look at the design of it and look at the design of digging tools. They go down six, seven inches. That's usually the max signal of uh, a, a metal detector. Before you jump on me with that comment right there the dirt around the world it varies it's not consistent dirt mineralization greatly affects depth as does the amount of moisture in the soil as does coil size but if you use a bigger sized coil you can get other objects interfering with the signal and that's called target masking and you could imagine living in a city like New York, that's a big problem. And remember, it's you could hear somebody say, well, I, I pull 20-inch signals all the time. If you remember, I do a lot of measuring. The measurement is from my pinpointer, which is 9 inches. So I'll say that uh, for a basic, re repeatable, deep signal, New York, we're talking 6, 7 inches. Yeah, you could go 8, 9 uh, with uh, larger coins. So here's the list of detectors that I use. XP Deus, 
Mindlab Equinox, Nocta Amphibio, Nocta Simplex, Mindlab Safari, Garrett AT Pro, Garrett Apex, Mindlab Vanquish, White's Beach Hunter 300, and finally, Mindlab E-Track. With the E-Track, I was able to get a audible signal deeper than any other detector that I've used to this point. I could consistently pull objects at 9 and 10 inches. I might be throwing you off a little bit with the word audible because the target ID, the visual target ID on the screen, you'll get repeating. Will you get accurate repeating? Not always. So that's where I'm at right now. I could pull, I've pulled maybe up to 11, uh, coins up to 11 inches, I suppose. And, um, you know, anything that's beyond that is, it, it's in the, the mystery world. One last point before we go to this hunt. I, I try to learn from people and I try to observe uh, people that consistently are successful. And uh, one thing that I've observed and heard, uh, I was speaking to Jackpot G. Lars about this, headphones, indispensable. You know, you need headphones. And he was telling me once that he, it's the blip in the threshold uh, on his machine that makes him understand there is a deeper target there. It's not always the right thing. It's not always what he's looking for. But, um, you know, it, it's something that you learn and it's something that you have to use your ears for. I've really tuned into that lately. And my knowledge of this is at the amateur level. I'm visual. I use all of my logic, deductive knowledge uh, on the visual settings. But uh, we're trying to grow here and we're trying to, you know, build an ear as well. Depth is important because one, targets sink, but more importantly, because I've found large sense at almost at the surface uh, in videos uh, here, uh, it's, uh, it's that uh, there's fill that's added over uh, the dirt or mixed in with the dirt and stuff gets pushed down. That's something that happens quite a bit uh, in New York. So you really have to be able to hear those deeper signals. Look at that. Panic. Not a possible bottom of the scale signal. Look at how far down that is. You got one? I think Jeff got something. Really hoping it's not this. We will see. Yeah, I think that rock was it. Great. Target ID scale can deceive you. I, I'm looking to learn to hear. Uh-oh. Great signal alert. Of course, I got everything jacked up, which skews the numbers. Man, Abraham Lincoln wants attention today. What the hell? Look at this guy. First signal. What? Nice what? A Skilva. Yeah. Yeah. Ow, it's cold. I know. Where are my, my wings? She just gave me a pound. My knuckles are bruised forever. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Thank you. Just dug another deep signal that I was wrong about. My condolences to the worms that I sliced in half. Oh, it's you again, Abe. Deep repeating. That's just great. I love this stuff. Probably Abe just wanting attention again. Jerk. Okay, here's the difference. It is wheat 
Abe. We are on the wheat. And you know what? I prefer Abraham Lincoln to Iron Man any day. Egad, it's the Clyde version of FDR. If you think about it, I've made about 200 videos this year. Each one of them, I know from editing the video, I have like more than 150 parts in each, and most of them are signals. So let's just do the math on that. How many holes did I dig this year? Uh, the number is insane. Dimmy. Above 45, repeating. This is as good of a signal as you're gonna get on this machine. Where'd it go? I just saw it on the board. There we go, right there. Hagen does. Has been unlocked. On the board. Skilva. Merk. Okay. Skilva. It Skilva has been slayed. Is it a Mercury? It is a Mercury. Uh, 1936? Oh, in a lovely condition. Splendid. 36, it was a lovely year for Ah, uh, yes. Wonderful Thank job. you. Pound that, sir. Sure. I'll be careful with the pound. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> Money penny. Egad. It's a penny made of wheat. Dim dim. Dimmy. Think I found one. Let's do it. Number two. Hagen does. Has it been unlocked? Stuck to some dirt. It is a Merc. Pow. Year is. 1939. That's a hell of a year. Could just be a quarter. Sure sounds good. Just a troublesome dimmy. 1960s money penny. Oh, how I love the 60s. Moment of silence. This one's been zincanized. Uh oh. Just a troublesome clad dimmy. We got a whistler. Sweet mother of pearl. Oh well. Dimmy. Dimmy. Egad. We are on the wheat. We're on the wheat once again. Dimmy. Yeah, it's a quarter. And then things got real. Yo! Okay, look at this. Look at the freaking eagle. I thought that was a dimmy. It's not. Nineteen ten. Oh my god. This is a foreign coin. Twenty concerts. Cossacks. I found the consorb. And this might be silver. I found the frickin' consorb. I think, well, could be. Egad, it is a Russian coin. Ten kopecks. Don't ask me where I saw consorb. I, I just, my eyes are terrible. But, um, look at that material. It is half silver. Hagen does. Has been unlocked. Okay. That's really cool. That's in great condition, too. That's the find of the day. I love the Mercs, don't get me wrong, but uh, this is the stuff that... Uh, Metal detecting is so cool about because he, I, I have no clue what this is right now. Um, 
I look at an eagle like that, I think of uh, somewhere in uh, Eastern Europe, but no clue, no clue what this is. But I'm about to research it and figure out what it is. Wow. Right next to the conserve is Abraham Lincoln. This is phenomenal. I found a conserve. What the hell is a conserve? <laughs> Dimmy. We are still in the immediate area of the conserve and um, I just got a 1960 penny. Iron. It just keeps spilling. And, oh, it's a quarter. You got a spill going on. Jeez, keep going. Right, another 10 cents. Is it over? Okay, let's count it. 25. 10 minutes later. With uh, two pennies, 77 cents. Make that 78 cents. Make that 79 cents. This does not stop. Make that 90 cents. And there's more. Dolla dolla, yo. Another penny. Coin spill done. Money penny. Numbers aren't right, but this sounds good. Just a money penny. Same thing. Just a dimmy. That's a quarter. That's a concert. Uh-oh. Dimmy. It is a quarter. That's yeah, a quarter. Let's go show Jeff the good news. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. What? I got phenomenal news. Um, we won the lottery and we're going to uh, hunt in Europe. Even better. You got the Europe part right. Got the Europe part right. I found the conserve. It's the conserve. It's not every day you find a conserve. What the heck is that? It's a conserve. See, it says conserve. It does. That is really cool. It's got like a backwards B, but you know. This is some 1910 conserve. Conserve. I've never found a 1910 concert before. I don't even know what it is. Neither do I. <laughs> I'm going to go with, uh, it's definitely foreign. I got that going for me. Yep. Wow, that is really cool. Surprise, the surprise is a metal detector. I got a Merc. Yes, sir. I got a second one. I, I got, uh, we're each at two. Oh, nice. Okay, That's let's digging. That's yeah, good, yeah, man. yeah. Oh, snap. Dead mouse. Okay. Came back a few minutes later. He wasn't dead. He was just sun tanning. 1963 money penny. Dimmy. Monetary disc. Yeah, it's a quarter. Dimmy. Yeah, it's a quarter. Could this be drop the mic? It's deep and it repeats. 20 cent coin spill. 1964 money penny. This might be drop the mic. I think it is. I don't think it is. Well, I'm out of batteries, so that settles it. Blink, blink, blink. Oh, well. It's wrap up time. Let's see what Jeff got. Are we tied? I got two. I got two also. All right. There you go. That means we both had a good day, brother. That's it, man. All right. Still producing. Yep. Awesome, dude. Yep. All right, it's wrap-up time. Let's sort it out. All right, $4.15 in clad. These are extra pennies. Um, got a few more over here. And, yep, that's it with that. And three wheat cents. Two pieces of silver. 
In fact, let's put it in the box first, and then we'll get to this bad boy. We return to the land of the wheat. We have three new additions. Go and join your friends. Bro, you know this is a very, very special coin. You're a monster. You're not impressed, are you? You're still a monster. Come on, bro. Feed me. Phil, I don't know how you feel about this, but you're not the star of the show today. We have two new pieces of silver, and that's great and all. And they can go and join their friends, but we, we got we had a major breakthrough today. I didn't know it at the time, but the conserve is part silver. It's half silver. So it can go in the box. So, go and join your comrades. Video not ending yet. We still have about another 10 minutes in this video, so stick around. We're doing another hunt, and I wanted to elaborate on my thoughts on depth. And it, it, Don't worry, I'm not going to talk, talk your ears off like I did at the beginning of this video. Let, let's get part two started. Today's a big day. I get my Equinox back. So uh, hopefully by the time I get back from hunting, it is there. I can't wait. Can't wait to use it again. I somehow managed to forget my bag. You know, the bag where I keep uh, my finds in? Great, so my pockets are gonna be... Uh... Then again, you know, I've done that for years. Uh, that... <laughs> I've used pockets until earlier this year. This is the year of new habits. I see Jeff, there's Jeff. Interesting. Look at you, man. It's old. Yeah, that is old. And it, I think it's either pewter or lead. I don't think they make that out of computer. No, and it's ductile. Whoa. That's an SAT word. Yeah. Whoa. So definitely an oldie. That's uh, good, okay. Yeah, this is, for, uh, this is the park where you can get an occasional deep sea creature coming up yeah and uh you know it's a lot of clad but l let's see what we get that's awesome man yeah it rang up a 13 so i'm thinking it's uh letter pewter okay that's usually like bullets and stuff ring up in that department so yeah it's old <laughs> there you go people don't really wear letter pewter jewelry anymore well speak for except yourself for you, except for you and me <laughs> right whoa just mudlarked this it's a bling patch Oh, we're starting out the day with a deep zinkin'. More patch bling. Holy cow. I'm the star in your video. You you are the star in my video, apparently so. Well that good good pun. I like that. <laughs> I got a quarter. It's a quarter. Deme. What's interesting here is you can actually legitimately swing at a very high. Very high sensitivity. I got it at 28 right now. Yep. The reason I wanted to tie this into the first part of this video is because of the soil here. There's very little interference. There's very little trash. There's actually very few signals other than clad at this field. And it, it's very deep down. I'm interested in the depth. Now listen, there, there's different dimensions to detecting. Uh, there is target separation and depth. And I would say that those are the two that uh, we're really going to focus on in this video. Target separation, again, it's the coil and the machine's ability to rapid fire. Here, two different signals within as short of a span as possible, as short of a swing as possible. That's important because if you swing in New York, you're going to be getting a lot of stuff. And there is also just the traditional depth. Let me tell you something about the E-Track. The way I have it set up, it is set up for maximum depth. Again, because this stuff, uh, the signals do sink. And on top of that, we have uh, sodding. We have uh, filler. You know, they, a lot of times uh, when the, the ground gets uneven, the solution is, okay, let's rip it up and let's put a layer of uh, new soil on top, which of course brings the stuff that we want further out of reach. 
All right, we got a high iron number. Maybe not. Interesting signal and deep. Below the plug, below a deep plug. This sounds fantastic. Crossing my fingers, let's dig it. Well, egad, it is a penny made of wheat. We had to go mm, seven, eight inches down just to get to that penny made of wheat. Might be picking something up here. Can't get a consistent repeat. Let's try going into automatic mode. Absolutely nothing but a skip in the, uh, the threshold. So let's move on from that. Okay, I got a repeat at the bottom of my scale. Listen. Let's dig. Oh man. After all that, can't find it. Can't get it to repeat. I thought I had it with the pinpointer, but sometimes the pinpointer even falses. I, I totally opened up my screen. If anything, this shows <laughs> how badly I want to get deeper. Quiet machine. How badly I want to get deeper and what I'm going to be working on uh, in the new year. So let's cover this up and let's move on. Interesting signal closer to the surface. Let's see. The deeper signal is the less reliable, it's probably the wrong word the bigger the chance that you have of it being nothing. It's a, it's a toss-up signal. And what I really want to work on is um, the ear. Is there a difference between the two signals? You know, that if, if something's good versus bad. The best detectorists know how to differentiate that. A zinkin, how undignified. Dimmy, I want to be able to detect the planes in the frickin' sky. Yeah, it's a quarter. Jeff got gold! Let me leave my machine here. Fucking work. Yeah! Holy crap, dude! Oh, dang, that's heavy too. Amor. Kiane y paz. Peace. Uh, love. Love. Uh, what is it? Amor. Kiane y paz. Love for me and peace. Yeah, man. You paused. I paused. You paused. There it is. 18K on the side. 18K. What? Yeah, there you go. Tell them about the experiment that you're doing. So right now I am. He's a uh, mad scientist. Uh, well, I'm digging a lot of trash. Yeah. But I'm uh, I'm digging everything that's uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. All right. Experimenting. The whole New York crew is experimenting. Dimmy. That sounds awesome. What the fluff and muffin is this? This part appears to be plastic and this part appears to be yeah it must be some lighting something for lighting oh well meh money penny okay switched my machine over to something called pitch hold that's what I would do when I uh, played baseball till the manager took me out of the game um, anywho, might have something deep here. Let's see. You know, it was showing that it's something. Let me move this. 
something in here, but it's got to be so small. Even my pinpointer is not picking it up. So, you know. Let's open it up. Very high iron number. Now let's dig. Sounds big. Nope, not getting anything. So we're probably on the outside of a piece of uh, iron. Yeah, it's a quarter. Yeah, it's a quarter. Dimmy, dimmy, dim, dim. What the what? That looks like an Adidas logo. Thought I had something good for a second. It's a lock. Dimmy. Nah. Dimmy, dim, 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 dim. All right, I've been walking around aimlessly for a long time, and I've been looking for something like this, which is remotely deep. It sure looks good now. I don't think it's going to be silver. But everything is in the three to five inch range. And this field has definitely been filled. So I'm just looking for a seam that has been, that has older, deeper stuff. And I suspect that this will be older. Let's see if I'm right. What the fluff and muffin is this? Really? What is this? Is that writing? Ah, I can't see. What is it doing here? What is it? That's great. I got two of these now. That's wonderful. Oh, we got three of these. <laughs> Somebody's messing with metal detectorists. No, oh, one metal detectorist. Yeah, it's a quarter. It's here. Jeff got silver. I'll be right there. I might have just hit a good signal. It's here. <laughs> okay, I'll be right there. Let me see what that rang up as. What in the dirt? Ah, throw it in the dirt, please. Yep. Let me get my... Let me move this for you. Yep, 46. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> I need something. I need to fill the box. Yeah, that's the cray cray I was talking about in the rap song before. <laughs> Dimmy. 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 Ah, bent quarter. <laughs> yeah, it's a quarter. Yeah, it's a quarter. Dimmy. Yeah, it's a quarter. This is driving me crazy. Everything is sporadic here. There, there's no structure. There's no layer of wheat scents that are going to guide me. Just a bunch of rogue signals. Money penny. That's a quarter. That's a quarter. Well, we're starting to amass a lot of quarters at least. Dimmy. That's a quarter. That's a quarter. Don't get mad. Get clad. That's a quarter. What the hell is this? Look at this. It, it's a quarter. I know, but it's a quarter that is like pretending to be a Spanish real. Fluffin' muffin. That's a quarter. Dimmy. Quarter. That's a quarter. Meh. Quarter. Meh. On to the next. But the next is getting my Equinox back. It's back. Well, here's the question that uh, everybody, especially myself, wants answered. And I did hear the suggestions about uh, wet ground, you know, wetting this so that, um, you know, it, uh, the signals are more conducive. Um, long story short, I have it, well, I have it in beach mode now. Let me switch the mode. Park one. I already ground balanced. Sensitivity, 25. Standard coil. I'm not getting anything. So the learning curve continues. So stay tuned. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button and uh, I thank you.
Don't forget, we have a Black Friday special going on right now through Cyber Monday, and the code is MEH5OFF. So be sure to check that out. Thanks, everybody.